and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is dj 9 zt and we're back with WWE Champions and another six-star character gameplay preview video. And today, we got Piper Niven, the Scottish powerhouse. I call her old claw face there. She looks like uh, she got hit by Wolverine. But, um, I don't know. I'm not familiar with the character. I haven't watched for a little while. Um, let's get into the poster. She is a trainer. 26k red gems do 40% more damage and red moves start with two more move points. So that's an incredible training ability. Uh, you would find yourself using that a lot of times if you had her at 26k. So she has a raw link, modern air link. The Vader bomb is the six star move. The running senton is a five star move. We're actually going to start with a six star move set. So we got triple yellow here, all seven charge. Mitch Dinoku drivers making six random pyro gems into cross break gems. Low angle cross bodies dealing 172k. You're going to make a six by five area into pyro gems, which will modify all gems above it into yellow. And then the Vader bomb is dealing bonus damage for every pyro gem. So we're going to run theory for pyro gems doing 100% more damage. Kofi for yellow MP. Hall of Fame Taker, yellow gems doing 12,000 more damage. Braun Strowman, yellow gems doing 25% more damage. So those yellow gems are doing 30k a piece now. On the strap, I'm rolling double Fury 2s. I only have a 50% move damage medal because I don't got a yellow. I got the Hunter's Medallion on here, but there's no way for me to break green really without using a prop. So, I have it on there because I don't need anything to recycle with. And if I get lucky enough to break some green, I can hit uh, for some double damage on the Cascade. But let's get out here against Bailey and see what this is all about. I actually know what it's all about. I just ran this build a whole bunch of times. I just beat the whole tour with it. And what I can tell you about this build is it's a little, it's a little RNG, and the damage isn't too, too powerful. It's very, very mid-damage. But if you get this Triple H skill plate to go off, you're in there. You are in there. And... It's like the luck of where those fall here. Okay, I, I didn't see those two. That'll help. <laughs> there we go. There we go. We need a lot of yellow, though. So 2.3 million? Mm. It's kind of mid. It's kind of mid. Okay, check this out. Green. Gr four green. I broke four green. So I should have the Hunter's Medallion active right now. I'm doing 2 million damage every time I do that. So remember then, no matter what the gem damage is, I'm still starting with 2 million damage before that. So, oh. Need to be able to break something as low on the board as possible here. It's just not looking great. There we go. And 3.3 .3 million that time. So the skill plate had hit. But I really have to... You have to spend some extra time looking at what the best way to blow up the board is there, though. So, the crossbreak gems aren't necessarily the best play there because... Oh, come on. Oh, I needed another green to cascade there. Because you need the pyro gems to break lower on the board, to be honest. Because otherwise you'll just break a bunch of gems that aren't yellow and then your your coaches and aren't doing anything for you. Hey, 
And that'll be perfect. And that one did well. Five million there. Five million damage. <laughs> Sit down, clown. It took a little bit to build up to, but uh five mil, baby. Let's see what else she can do. Okay, move set number two. We got the abdomen crusher. Seven charge sub, green sub, generate 39 sub gems, do 224 for three turns, remaining subs turn into botch gems. We got the cannonball, seven charge green, it'll let us choose six red. We got the Loch Ness Slam, 10 charge red, dealing 395k damage, that's pretty high base damage, and gain eight green MP and pin the opponent. So on the Entourage here, I got Steel for green MP, I got Damian Priest Tech for red finishers, do 150% more damage. Bret Hart Tech. Red finishers, 30% more damage. Bruno, green subs, 50% in one extra turn. So now that subs doing 1.2 million. This move here, 1.1 million now with the boost from them. To go along with that, I got double takedown two on. So we got 80% boost from that. And then I got the NWO skill plate. So whenever we break six or more red gems, increase our red move damage by 75% for two turns. I actually practiced this without the NWO plate, and it went pretty decent. We were doing 2 million on our finisher, and uh, the 1.2 million for the sub just takes a little bit to do. Turn one, I got to hit the sub first, because I don't want her to hit her moves at all. I'm not dealing with any of that. So that's the 1.2. Give me a little room to work with here. I got to choose six. And... No cascades. Boom. Now, look at that. Finisher. 2.2 million. 2.3 million. Okay, 2.2. Not terrible. And the botch gems, though. So the more bots you got out, the more chance you got. Now, she's not charged up, so every time in this case, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh... I'm going to go ahead and hit that. Try and get that, because that's doubled up now with that plate. So 2.6 million finisher, 2.5 million there. Not overwhelming. We'll go ahead and use the use the sub again, get some botch gems back out onto the board. Ah, she got the pin. It's breaking my turn streak there. Oh, perfect. 2.3 million finisher again. And the botch gems helped us out there, so... Had to go through the finisher, what was that, three times through on the finisher, so... Not, um, OP. Not unusable. Pretty good and balanced. I think we got one more build to try. I'll be right back. Okay, so my chat was telling me a lot of them were running the running senton in there. Um, but I got to tell you, I can't see how you got to choose two gems to make into two turn juggernaut gems that will heal. I mean, so you're going to heal yourself on the countdown. That's cool. But then they'll increase your red MP by five. So if you keep both of them, you'll get 10. That'll fill the finisher. But you got to pass a turn to do that. And if you pass the turn with the sub, that'd be dangerous. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't see how that is safer or better than using the choose move. The choose move, yeah, sure, you could cascade, but you can control that at least if you place your gems correctly. There is also the Glasgow Kiss, the one-turn stun. One-turn stuns don't really do it for me all the time. I don't know. I don't think anything else is going to work better than the two sets that I just showed. So I'm ending my preview right there. 
And I'll leave you with that. Until next time, y'all.